Hello friends, uh, welcome to Fabu Tutorials. As we know, double dollar, that is dollar dollar, will return a list of web elements. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can loop through those elements. It's really important to get control over that looping concept because uh, you can do so many things in that. Okay. You can do something like get in the count, you can do if the condition is matches, you can click on it. So uh, what we'll do in this tutorial is we'll going to show you how we can loop to the uh, list of web elements in WebDriver IO. So uh, I am I have implemented a basic loop concept, basic for loop in other video that is drop down automation. So if you want basic for loop implementation in WebDrive IO, you can please refer that. Here I will be using for each and also every loop. Okay. So if you click on this one, if you get into this make my trip, so here you can see these are the three elements. If you click on this particular country, you can get three elements. These are the nothing but drop down. So I am going to loop through these elements and I will try to get the values here. Okay using for which concept okay so first let me get this element so that i can click okay before before getting all the values first what you need to do is you need to click on this element so for that i need to get that element first okay so if you see here this is my uh, condition this is my selector guys so what i'll do is i'll just select this one and I'll use it in my X path span activate class is equal to okay so the instead of directly using I'll use contents because I'm using only one class out of the three available for that particular web element now if you see it is having two first first one is getting highlighted so let me use that index here okay so we will get the particular country now so uh, let me try to delete this and show you let uh, country is equal to dollar off so I am getting the particular country now now I need to click on that right country dot click element after I click on it what I need to do is it will come like this then I need to get all the elements from it okay so if you see here this is a p in the span I have a class name so I'll use this class name now I have three elements isn't it I don't need this bracket in the beginning and end. Now I have three elements India, UAE, and US. Right. So I need this. This is nothing but list of web elements. That is a dollar dollar. Okay. Let uh, country country list is equal to dollar dollar of this one, isn't it? Okay. Now now my aim is to get all the values that is India, UAE and US. So for that what I will do is simply use for each. You do not need this array guys. So you can remove this directly you can use for each here. Okay. Of element we got here. Then with the help of this element, this element is nothing but for each element of country list near the loop. Okay element will go to each and every element in this country loop okay country list list okay so element dot let me use get text let me try to print console dot log i am using for each here right then i got this Let me try to print this and let us see how we how we are getting the data we are getting properly or not okay 
So, if you see here the particular website is getting loaded, after that it will click, then you will get all the, um, sorry, okay, okay, one sec, one sec, I am using SpiceJet, this is actually from my different website, so, yeah, I should use make my trip. This is for the different uh, tutorial I have used it. Now, if you see, let me run this uh, particular uh, test here. Spec got loaded and it invoked the browser. Then it is getting into the particular website. Then it will zoom, maximize it, click on India, that country. If you can see, click down, got the values, but some issue is there. What is that some issue? Invalid left hand sided assignment. Yeah. Okay, sorry, this one plus equal to is there now. Sorry for that. Sorry, sorry. No, it should work now. Not a big deal. Just one last time, I will execute. Then after that, I will show you how we can use either loop. Every is a one more uh, loop you can use here. So, I am going to show you that demo as well. That's it for this tutorial. I'm not going to bother you people much. So it is loading that particular website. It will maximize. Click on the country, uh, country element that is as of now India is there. It will click. It will get all the values from there. And I'm trying to show you. As you can see, it is passed successfully. Now, as you can see here, US, UAE, and India will be there in the top. Okay. So, India, as you can see here, okay. So, this is how we can use for each loop, guys. It is very, very important to get control on this kind of things. I am telling you, it is very important, okay. There is something called every, okay. Even this will also work. Let me, I have saved it, yes. Then, uh, it is invoking the browser. This is a very small tutorial, guys. So, do try this at your home, try to use for loop, for reach, for in is also there, every is there. So, it is a very good uh, concept to understand. Now, you can see it passed and click on it passed and we should get all the values, okay. You should get all the values. Now, you can see India, okay. So, so, uh, I think this is only for one element, I guess, okay. For which you can use directly. So, uh, this is for this tutorial, guys. Let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section so that I can help you out more on this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.